These stunning visuals were generated by the new Stable Diffusion XL 1.0. If you compare it to previous models of Stable Diffusion, you'll notice it generates better images and has more custom features. But you're gonna need to watch this video right through for a step-by-step -step guide on how to use this new version. It's complex, and without this guide, you're fighting an uphill battle. So you want to know how to use Stable Diffusion AI and how to get access, and most importantly, is it better than other text to image generators? We'll cover everything you need right here. If you're new to AI-generated art and you've never used Stable Diffusion, we'll start by mentioning it's open source, which means its code is public, so anyone can contribute to its development or research process. It allows you to generate images in different styles, like anime, digital art, 3D model, neon punk, and much more. Animations and videos can also be generated through text, but you'll have to add an extension for this. There are two main ways to use stable diffusion, online and local. Online is the simplest and most convenient method, and stable diffusion can be used on Hugging Face, where there's no need to sign up or pay any money. You just type a prompt and a negative prompt, which by the way means an element you don't want in your image, and in a few seconds you'll have four different AI-generated images. Just be aware you can't customize or edit them. But if you want more control and custom options, then Dream Studio using the latest SDXL version 1.0 will deliver. But before we get into that, please hit the subscribe button to get all the latest guides on new AI tools. So let's take it from the top. Firstly, you'll need to set up an account using either Discord or a Gmail account. Once that's done, you'll be given 25 credits, which are enough to generate 125 images. But if you want more, you can purchase 1,000 credits for $10, and that'll be enough to generate 5,000 images. On the front page, you'll notice its user interface is pretty clean and easy to navigate. On the left side, you'll see two different options. One's for generating images from prompts, and the other's for editing images using AI. Under the Generate option, you can choose different styles like photographic, comic book, and other styles, as we mentioned earlier. Then you have the prompt box, where you can either add your own text or use a text shuffler to generate a random prompt. We think that's a pretty cool feature. If we look at the settings, there's only options for choosing aspect ratio and image count. But below this, you can open up more settings by clicking on Advanced. In Advanced, there's more features like Prompt, Strength, Seed, and Generation Steps. But if you're new to AI tools like this, these terms might sound alien to you. So we'll explain. Prompt Strength is a feature that controls how strongly the model follows the provided prompt when generating images. The higher the prompt strength, the more the model is going to try to match the text description. Lower the prompt strength, the more the model adds its own creativity and variation to the image. Simply speaking, if you keep prompt strength low, the model will generate something using its own knowledge base. But if you keep it high, then it'll try to come up with an image in your imagination. Generation steps is adding or removing noise from an image until it matches your text prompt. Usually, it's better to have more generation steps if you want to get a refined image. Seeds are like a secret code for every picture. If you use exact seed settings and prompts of an image, you'll end up generating the same image. Once you've adjusted all of the settings, click on Dream, and your images should be generated within 20 seconds. Once you know how, it's simple and easy to use the online version of SDXL, but credits run out very quickly, and then you'll have to pay for more. You might be interested to know you can even install Stable Diffusion on your PC, and we'll be explaining the easiest way to do that. But before we do, you'll need to make sure your PC is fit for this kind of software. You'll need to have a Windows 10 or 11 NVIDIA GPU, with at least 6 gig of VRAM, and at least 10 gig of free hard drive storage. To check the GPU on your PC, press the Control, Shift, and Escape buttons together. This opens up the Task Manager. Go to Performance tab, and if you see an NVIDIA GPU there, you're good to go. Installing this software is tricky, so we've broken it down into seven steps. But before we get started, please subscribe and we'll keep sharing informative videos like this one. Step one is to download Git. Use the link we provided in the description box. On this page, go to the operating system you're using and click on the download link. Once it's done, click on File and start the installation process. Step two, is to download Python 3.10.6. Again, use the link provided, scroll to the bottom of the page, and download the Windows version. While installing it on your PC, don't forget to check the box that says Add Python to 3.10 to Path. Step 3. Make a clone of Stable Diffusion UI on your PC. To do this, create a new folder on your hard drive. Open this folder. On the address bar, type CMD, 
and a command prompt opens up. Type git clone next to folder name and paste the link which is also provided in the description section below. Click enter. If this step was done properly, you'll see a folder called Stable Diffusion Web UI inside the folder you just created. Step 4. Download the latest model, which right now is SDXL 1.0. You'll have to make an account on Hugging Face for this. Then search for Stable Diffusion and you'll see multiple models to choose from, but click on the latest version. Scroll down and you'll see a download link. Be prepared. Downloading can take a while, so have a stretch, drink some water. Step 5. Go to the download section and copy the file. Then go back to the folder you created in step 3. Click on models and paste the file here. Step 6. Go back to the folder, Stable Diffusion Web UI. Scroll down and you'll see a file called webuiuser.bat. Open that and processing will start. This will also take a while. Once the processing is done, you'll see a URL on the bottom next to running on local URL. Step 7. Copy the URL and paste it into your web browser, and there you go. You've installed Stable Diffusion on your PC. And breathe. You can now create as many images as you want. You'll see lots of different options on the installed version, like image to image or text to image. And there's lots of options to customize your images for better results. As a beginner, it's a good idea to just play around with all the different settings and see what works best for you. Before we compare this software with say, Doll E or Midjourney, a quick ask to hit that subscribe button. Okay, although DALI can be used for the OpenAI website, it's not entirely a free AI tool. It can generate some decent photorealistic images. However, compared to other top AI tools, there aren't a lot of custom options. As for Midjourney, it's considered one of the best AI tools. It delivers really good images and also provides lots of custom options. However, it can only be used through Discord so you can't download it, which is a negative for some people. Although Stable Diffusion can be a little complicated to install, once you get it on your computer, you can generate as many images as you want. And you can also use those images anywhere, as they don't impose copyright restrictions.